in the air and through. Started very quickly from that delay. As we said, Middlesex won the toss, decided to field. Just one change, Middlesex side. Goes big, goes high, goes over the top and nearly goes all the way, just short of the rope, four runs. Ah, now, throw up a left-hand helm, but enough of the bottom hand of Rossington. Out of the... Now down the track it comes, up in the air and gone! Deep backward point, down on one knee, holds on, Joe Cracknell, Usually a very safe pair of hands. Great start for Cornwell. Rossington again using his feet, splices that one out. Carries all the way to deep point. Joe Cracknell barely had to move. First wicket for Middlesex. response and you who's in trouble you saw the fielder as well that was tempted to be slow of all your cup a little bit of width on it and a low full toss punished down the ground one bounce for four flat batted from Elgar Fine of Holden, will be another boundary, 10 off the first three. Up in the air, and over the top. Backward point is Max, is uh, Joe Cracknell, no chance with that one. Into the stands it goes, oh dearie me, is everybody okay? I think somebody may have, ouch, on his chin, goodness me, I hope that gentleman's okay. He's gone over one. Done. Delicately done, a little finer, perhaps. Some of inside edge about that one. Yeah, that's 10 off the first four balls. Pepper pulls powerfully. Give himself room. Carving through the covers. Four more. Pepper's on to 21. Just nine deliveries, he's motoring now. He's bowled him! Through he goes. Up there on middle and leg. Pepper swings, he misses. Cornwall hits. And it's a second wicket for the left arm seamer. Really well bowled. Oh, Cornwell. It's the second of the game, third of the T20 blast campaign. Coach Richard Johnson has been really pleased. Stroke straight of mid off. Lovely start for Cox. Boundary to begin. Top edge. Four runs over Davies. No chance for fine leg. Four to end the over. 12 off it, but crucially, the wicket of Pepper. Top edge, this could be the first for Holman tonight. And he holds on off his own bowling. Helgar looked to move. Holman had to be aware of that because it was right in the middle of the track. Gone. Swinging hard with the spin towards that short boundary. That step or two from Elgar. Swung. Swung big, swung high, swung handsomely into the grandstands. Chance goes down. Except Paul Walter hits a big ball. And, uh, suggesting that he's top edge that. Reverse. For six more. Another one put down in the crowd. Big and ours there. 
Swung hard, swung big and swung into the gap. Deep backward square and deep mid-wicket coming around, can't quite get there. It's driven down the ground, and one's been around, it's tight. It's actually not in the end, it's comfortable, it's four more. Swung big, over the top, move uh, mid-off. What runs it is? Bowls him, a step across from Walter and a miss at the attempted sweep. He meditated, across he went. Miss. End of Walter, he's gone for 18. And a 6 1 21. A 4. By the way, to win the 12th over. Lords. Returns from the nursery end. Oh, and Cox gets it through just fine of cover for four. Oh, goes for that one again. It's pitched outside the line of leg, I fancy. Oh, stepping across, and he gets it up and over. Now, will this kick on? Will it skid on? It does. Middlesex will be quite happy with this. That ball getting wet pretty quickly. I'm not sure if we get wet quick enough in six overs to really affect things though, but drags this one, drags it through. Should be away and it is. Or charge them and deposit them into the grandstand. Slams into the corporate boxes. Six for Eskenazi. Skip to the pitch, and that's a sweet pickup. Now this goes up in the air, it's a short boundary, but two come for it at six, goodness me. Top edge goes all the way, Holden got underneath that one, swung hard though. Important six from Max Holden, Aaron Beard going short, it's a bit top edgy, but it is a short boundary. Two fielders came over, but it's safely passed. Oh, goes straight to cover. Tries to go over the top, Eskenazi. And he goes as far as Dean Elgar. Comfortable catch. Very well bowled from Paul Water. Slowing it down into the track. Eskenazi. Trying to get as much power on that as possible. Can only splice it. Comfortable catch for Dean Elgar. Catch your mind back to Merchant Taylor School last year. And Sex taking on Glamorgan, who was 75 runs scored in the final three overs. Down the track comes Higgins, straight to mid on. Palmer takes the catch. And Middlesex just started to stumble and stutter here. Started to come in and just go from ball one. It's been a fantastic over from Paul Walter. Just bowling the ball into the track, taking a pace right off it. Higgins could only sky it. And again, a good, well held from Simon Harmer. Slip. Quite got hold of it, but it's a short boundary, which will give him a chance. Oh, that is four. Good effort. And the rope, excellent effort. Gets hold of that one. There'll be four more. 34 to win off nine. It goes, but... Oh, he's rolled over the top. Four more. That helps. 30 to win. Well, there's a boundary to begin. 25 from five. Get a single to finish, he's on 41. You couldn't really have asked much more of Max Holden there. 41 from 24, he ends up on the losing side. He's hit some wonderful innings here.